Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Do you know how to pronounce these words? Well, I've noticed that a lot of learners have trouble with these two words, and that's what I'm going to help you with in this lesson. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And now, let's get started. Our first word is used very often in business and it means to buy something. Now, a lot of people mispronounce this word. They say purchase, purchase. And unfortunately, that's not quite right. As you can see, it has two syllables and the stress is on the first syllable. So it should sound like this. Purchase, purchase, per chis, per chis, purchase. I'll say it one more time and then there'll be a pause for you to repeat. Are you ready? Purchase. Great, and now let's say it together after three. One, two, three, purchase. Excellent. Now let's take a look at that word in an example sentence. I'll say the sentence three times. First time, just listen. After the second time, there'll be a pause for you to repeat. And the third time, we'll say it together after three. The company is planning to purchase a new machine. The company is planning to purchase a new machine. And now together, one, two, three. The company is planning to purchase a new machine. So purchase is the verb and the noun has a similar pronunciation. We say purchasing, purchasing. We don't say purchasing, we say purchasing, purchasing. He works in the purchasing department. He works in the purchasing department. And now let's look at our second word. This is another very common word in business. It's a more formal way to say reason. This one is also often mispronounced. I hear a lot of people saying purpose, purpose. But as you can see, it also has two syllables and the stress is also on the first syllable. So it should sound like this. Purpose, purpose, per, pus, per, pus, purpose. I'll say it one more time and then there'll be a pause for you to repeat. Are you ready? Purpose. Great, and now we'll say it together after three. One, two, three, purpose. Excellent. Now let's try it in an example sentence. I'll say the sentence three times. First time, just listen. After the second time, there'll be a pause for you to repeat. And the third time, we'll say it together after three. The purpose of this meeting is to define a new marketing plan. The purpose of this meeting is to define a new marketing plan. Great, and now together, one, two, three. The purpose of this meeting is to define a new marketing plan. That brings us to the end of another short pronunciation lesson. I hope you found it helpful. And if there are any other business words which you find difficult to pronounce, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to include them in an upcoming pronunciation lesson. If you liked the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.